Hello, my name is Sabina and I work in Association for Promotion of IT Culture and Coexistence or for short Association X. We are NGO, which means that we are non-governmental, non-profit organization and we work in the topic on non-formal and informal education. Our mission and vision is basically to empower citizens so they can take over responsibility for development of their own community. We believe that every individual can make small changes for the betterment of society. As I said, Association X works with um, formal institutions from kindergartens, elementary schools, high schools and universities and we are always trying to find new ways uh, how to engage um, learners or, or students in our activities, how to make it fun for them and how to basically make a game out of it. That way we can also connect marginalized uh, groups and beneficiaries with different needs as blind people or people with disabilities, uh, as well as young people or um, students from universities. Um, it is very important for us that these activities are done in open spaces. Uh, this became very important especially after the earthquake because we had to go out in the community and use uh, an open public space. This is also the way where we can connect citizens that are just passerbys. They can stop and take a moment and learn something new with us. It's a very nice moment of cooperation and learning from each other. This is very important for us that the process of learning and teaching is fun and interactive because um, this is how we build community development. Kids uh, and students, they want to participate more, they want to engage more and then they even um, make their own initiatives uh, in the community. Hello, my name is Matea and I work in Association X in Petrinja and I'm also a team member of Social Education on the Move project. Um, Besides that, I have a master's degree in sociology, so this was a very interesting experience uh, for me because during my uh, studies we didn't have much practice, practical experience, so with this project I got to know many different uh, methods that I can use in my current uh, job and things that I do uh, in my life in general. Before I started working in an NGO, I was teaching in three different uh, high schools in this area. So I could say I got a really good insight to all of the problems with uh, which uh, educational system in Croatia faces. Uh, so unlike formal educational system, informal and non-formal uh, sector offers much more flexibility. So because of that, let's say freedom to experiment a bit more I think uh, those are actually keys to uh, developing better practices in the future so if there is a connection or link between uh, different parts of educational systems uh, I think that both teachers and students as well as the institution institutions could benefit even more. Hello everyone, my name is Nadia and I'm also team member of Association Nix based in Croatia. We got, um, we got um, part of this project because we really believed that uh, for proper education for the future, for global citizenship, it's key importance that um, all the learners, no matter their age, have multiple perspectives and experiences and this is what we try to emphasize in our daily work. So one part of my work is uh, trying to uh, design, build, plan, prepare and conduct activities that are game-based, that are mainly educative, but trying it out as, uh, as fun, as interactive and it's something that will stick, that will actually make an impact, that will change perspectives of learners and that will provide experience to everybody taking part in it. And throughout this course we wanted actually to, um, to give you just one of the possible perspectives of how, how you can actually educate persons using, using mobile elements, using public space, uh, collaborating between formal, non-formal and informal sectors. Throughout this course or session in actually using gamification and game-based activities as tools for community development, we would like to introduce you to our study cases or how we use game-based elements uh, to actually produce educative activities for the broader community or very specific target groups. The main goal is actually to learn something, to experience, to get motivated, to connect, to understand and to take initiative.
show you so throughout one example where we, where we try to include a blind and visually impaired persons from our community, uh, the general community, young volunteers, students, interns and public spaces. So there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of fun and uh, one of the main goals actually of proposing you this course is for you to get inspired to take action in your own community, to recognize needs and uh, to take action. So uh, have a lot of fun learn and enjoy.